Calimera, friends, and I just wanted to do a video today because the, the goddess Asclepius has been on my mind. Um, I've always had a close relationship with Asclepius, and for those that don't know, he is the son of Apollo and the god of medicine and healing. Um, and something I've always wanted to do is to make an offering to Asclepius to thank him for especially this past year of 2019. We've had a lot of injuries and a lot of healings in our family. So I wanted to make an offering, a traditional offering to Asclepius. So I was reading this blog, um, and I'll read you the first two paragraphs on this blog. So what we're going to do today is make an offering to Asclepius with making clay votives of the body parts that were healed um, this past year, thanks to the doctors and the healing um, that they helped provide. And we're giving thanks to Asclepius for the healing in our family for these elements that we had. So I'll read you these two paragraphs and then might explain a little more, but um, it's pretty self-explanatory. This little blog is from Hearth Fire and Works. It's from 2017 and I'll put a link to this whole blog so you can read it. And um, so I'll read this little thing about it and then I'll show you what I'm gonna use. We'll make some, and then I'm going to end the video with the Orphic Hymn to Asclepius and Hygieia. So this blog, it kind of goes into what I'm talking about. It says, Asclepius, god of healing and patron of medicine, is among the kindest gods of Greek, kindest Greek gods. Historically, he would accept any offering, no matter how small, and his temples were filled with votives that were inexpensive materially, but rich in devotion. Certainly the wealthy gave as was within their own means gifts of precious metals and stones, but Asclepius was equally pleased with the small clay of votives, or the worn sandals shown the distance the, suppl the supplicant had traveled to reach the temple, that were a traditional offering to the god. It was very much traditional for a grateful worshiper to leave a votive offering in the shape of the part of their body that had been healed. Asclepius temples held many models of arms, legs, hands, and other body parts, sometimes that were life-size, as a testimonial to the God's goodness and mercy. So that's what we're going to do today. So I decided to make a video of that. Let me put this down. And what made this idea come even more true is that I found out that something I wasn't aware of is that Crayola <laughs> makes air dry clay that you don't have to have a kiln or whatever it is that traditionally you have to, um, you know, make the clay and then you gotta let it, the fire dry it and all that stuff. So they do make air dry clay. I'll let you guys see it right here. So we're gonna use this air dry clay and make an offering to Asclepios in the body parts that were healed this past year. And it's like I said, it's something I've always wanted to do. So I finally get to do that. And once I do that, I'm going to show you guys and then we're going to offer it to Asclepios. Anyway guys, hope you guys like this video. Right, so as you see, I made a head because this was a thankful giving offering for a thankfulness that my wife had a really bad concussion, actually, and um, 
She was taken care of by the doctor and has been healed. She, her headaches have been gone, so I'm thinking Asclepius for that. So that's what the head was for. Hope you guys liked that video. And the other was the knee. So I had the foot and I made it so you in the leg you can see the knee bend because she's been having issues with her knee. So that was um, for the knee. So I hope you guys liked that little making of. So now we're going to place it onto the altar of Asclepius. And like I said, we're going to then do the Orphic hymns to Hagia and Asclepius. O oh, much desired prolific general queen, hear me, life bearing health hygieia, a beauteous main. Mother of all, by thee diseases dire, of blissful destructive, from our life retire. In every house is flourishing and fair, if with rejoicing aspect thou art there. Each dital art thy vigorous force inspires. And all the world thy helping hand desires. Pluto lies bane alone resists thy will, And ever hates thy all-preserving skill. O fertile queen, from thee forever flows To mortal life, from agony repose. And men, without thy all-sustaining ease, Find nothing useful, nothing formed to please. Without thy aid, not Pluto's self can thrive, nor man to much afflicted age arrive. For thou alone of countenance serene dost govern all things, universal queen. Assist thy mystics with propitious minds and far avert disease of every kind. Great Asclepios, skilled to heal mankind, all ruling pian and physician kind, whose arts medicinal can alone assuage diseases dire and stop their dreadful rage. Strong, lenient God, regard my supplant prayer. Bring gentle health adorned with lovely hair. Convey the means of mitigating pain and raging deadly pestilence restrain. O power all flourishing, abundant and bright, Apollo's honored offspring, God of light. Husband of blameless health, the constant foe of dread disease, the minister of woe. Come, blessed Savior, and my health defend, and to my life afford a prosperous end.